Yes, I'm back at it again. Swords King. Okay, so I'm bidding on some units right now, right? I want you guys to check this out, my bidding process. You see everywhere that it says high bidder? That's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, and this is me right up top right here. Okay, let me click on this one, and let me show you what is inside of this, okay? So, you guys can be the judge and try to figure out what's going on here. It's got a um, bedhead of some sort, brass, uh, whatever it is. And I suspect that this person might have some jewelry inside of this. It's a very small unit. It's probably like a five by five. And um, it has a little bit of things in there, but at, at, at the amount of money that I'm gonna be spending on this, it's definitely worth the uh, risk. Now, <clears throat> tell you a little story about what I'm doing here. As you see right here, it's a storage mart on uh, Ertel Road, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm buying four units at the same time at the same place. Very easy for me to clean out and um, very easy for me to do because they're all in the same um, location. Now, one of the reasons why I'm bidding on this one here, I just clicked on it, is because I've seen a series of uh, baseball bats and it's it appears that this unit goes with another unit that I'm also bidding on. Okay, you watch the photos, they go with the baseball bats uh, and um, it's got some other stuff in here, some helmets, um, some bags, I could definitely use them. I guess those were the uh, books that they used uh, to figure out what's going on with the kids. Here it goes the helmets. Close up more of the baseball bats and basically that's it. Now that's for that unit right that, there. Right now it's at $40 and I got uh, one solid hour and two seconds. And now it's gonna be 59 minutes left for this auction to go off. So you've seen that one. Now, the reason why I bid it on this one is because I think, and it's coming up, <clears throat> is because I think that this unit also goes with that unit. And that one is at $40 too. So I'm gonna click on expand it and you can see all the trophies in the back. I bring it up a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. And I'm gonna click on to the next one and the next photo so you can see it. Be some, appears to be some baseballs in there. Click on to the next picture. Who knows what's in that bag? And more trophies. The trophies probably not even uh, given to anyone yet. They probably just have the trophies there just in case someone wins a game or whatever's going on, team thing. And there you are right there. There are all the balls right there, okay? Um, and more stuff in there, I guess. Not too much stuff, you know, but for 40 bucks, it's definitely worth the, um, the chance of, of doing this one uh, let me see what is the other one that I didn't show you so far so so far I showed you this one here which has the baseball um, bats um, and some helmets and um, this one here has the balls and um, some more some trophies and all kinds of stuff and over here um, is a different unit right here that I'm bidding on. Let me see if we got everything. So you got this one right here that I showed you. You got this one that I showed you. And um, this one here, uh, you haven't seen yet. So as I said before, they're all at the same place. And once you click on to um, this particular um, storage facility, you can see like all the units that they have that they have for sale. And, and you can, you scroll down and you know, you, you can bid on however many you want. This particular place has a um, $100 uh, cleaning deposit right here that they need you to come up with in addition to whatever it is that the winning bid is. So what I did on this one is um, I bid it all the way up to $60, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put a a proxy bid in or a little silent bid that you can't see and I'm gonna confirm it right here see yes I want to bid on that so it still keeps it at 60 but when somebody goes in behind me and they try to bid 
all of a sudden the bid goes up to 70 and they probably don't want to pay that much for it so that's what i'm going to basically anticipate that's going to happen um other units i didn't want to have anything to do with it like this one right here it has a copy machine these things don't sell at all you, you think you have a fortune on your hands they just don't sell at all they don't bring the value that they used to bring um years and years and years ago let me scroll back down here again and i'll show you this one this one is uh, a unit and it's got nothing but shelvings and stuff like that in here i'm not really interested in that at all i'll expand it for you a little bit so you can see why i stay away from it this is all this is all metal it's worth nothing to me you know even if you were to take it to a metal place you, you're really wasting your time your energy and everything else adult i want to kind of say that this unit probably belongs to um the baseball people you know um and these are the shirts that they probably wore they probably all blend into the same place but uh, i just i don't want to have anything to do with the shelvings at all because you have to clean the shelvings out in, in this particular unit you, you know um if you go in whatever it is that you see you have to take with you and uh, i'm not interested at all in hauling all this stuff out of there so i'm going to definitely pass on that one as you can see right here the minimum bid is ten dollars and nobody's bidding on it at all and that includes me i want to have nothing to do with it at all here's another one at the same facility and um you know i looked at this one and i kind of went over it a couple of times to see whether or not it was worth it at all to see if there was like any mystery in the boxes or anything and you know you can see here yeah i don't know it's too much of a gamble it looks like whatever it is that they wanted they took out of it and it looks like it probably goes to the same unit too with the this bait the baseball people um because you can see it says something about youth youth large you know so i'm assuming that they had a bunch of uh of um of units at this facility uh because these look like the, these look like the um the bases right here right over here look like the bases they put in the ground i'm not interested in in, in, in this one at all that's you know for 10 bucks you know you, once again you, you you you're you're basically cleaning out their 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 stuff their facility i have no interest in being a cleanup man and not getting paid uh for it in some way so once again, you know, recap, uh, I got one, two, three, and four. Now you can see all four of them just sitting there um, that I'm the highest bid on. And we'll see how it all um, boils down to. This one's got 39 minutes left on it. It's all the same facility, but they all post them at different times. This one's got 54 minutes left on it. This one's got an hour and four minutes left on it. This one's got an hour and 24 minutes left on it. And um, I think that's about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start watching this one as the time rolls down. And I can basically put them into um, um, watch it through my account. So I don't have to go back into storage treasures and look to see where they are, you know, by going to online storage auction. I can just go in and I can click on each one. Um, as I'm riding down the street and figure out, you know, what's going on and either update it uh, or, you know, stay away from it, whatever it is that I decide to do. So once again, my friends, there it is, the storage king at work hard every day trying to make sure that um, I invest more. Um, you know, I do more. Uh, I want to make sure that, you know, I don't get settled in any sort of a way and being complacent with anything in my life uh, because that's that's not a good thing. You always have to strive for high heights. You know, you always have to strive to make yourself better each and every single day, no matter what, no matter how much money that you have. If you have millions and millions of dollars, if you just sit back and start spending it, you're going to lose it. So, you know, you have to stay inspired, you have to stay motivated, and you have to stay focused. My next uh, video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to um use uh, and i think i told you this on my last um video i'm going to show you how what vehicles to use to invest your money once you start making money you know they're good vehicles the bank is not it and i'm going to show you exactly how i do mine 
So usually when I go into storage treasures, by the way, you know, um, I put in um, my zip code and I put in how many miles I'm willing to travel for a unit. And you, you see, I put 500 miles and I'm willing to go to any destination at all. Um, on storagetreasures.com, for instance, it will take me all the way out to Virginia, North Carolina. I live in Baltimore, Maryland, South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, I haven't been as far as those places, but I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing. If I see something that, you know, tickles my fancy, I will drive out there and go get it. Um, this particular one right here is at $870, and it's got all kinds of automotive parts and tools, chests, and all kinds of stuff. I'm not really interested in going all, all the way out there for something that is not in my uh, circle of things that I like to do. Um, what am I going to do with auto parts? I, I don't know anything about auto parts. And if they're auto parts, what, do they function? Do they work? Um, anyway, so yeah, this, this takes me all the way out to uh, Newcastle, Indiana, um, Connecticut, um, you know, um, and once again, this is my choosing to see what is out there and see what what kind of pickings I have. I try to keep my bidding low, as low as possible. And um, I try to make sure that I get, you know, I can make at least 10 times my money back on whatever it is that I um, I, I spend. And as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, uh, you can see the first unit right here is $40. I'm still the higher bidder. Um, and um, yeah, that one, like I just told you before, it ends in 35 minutes now. And we keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and I'm sure you'll find a rest. Um, and it all goes by time, um, not location or anything, but by time, you know, how much time is left. Uh, here's the other one that I'm the higher bidder on. And um, that one's pretty close by me, by the way. Um, Glen Burnie's not too far away from me. It's probably about 20 minutes, maybe a half an hour with traffic. Fayetteville, North Carolina, places I've never heard about before. Fayetteville, North Carolina is pretty far. I went to... Um, Fayetteville, North Carolina to get my motorcycle out there. That's about an eight hour drive from me. Um, here we are right here. Here's another one, high bidder. Um, we keep going and going and going and going. And um, yeah, there's there's some pretty interesting things here. Oh, look at this one right here. Here is over one dozen um, and bins full of artwork, vintage cameras and vinyl records. Now this is a private seller anyway, you know. Um, and it's at eleven hundred dollars. Uh, you know, good for him. Uh, good for that person. Private seller. That's one of the things that I used to do. That's pretty good business too. You know, when you guys um, get into you know a little bit more details of 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 the business, you can do that too, and it it, it helps make make you constant money. I'm just taking a peek at um, what I bid it on because I didn't notice that they were um, the, the Claire containers. I wondered what was in the Claire containers. And it's loading up, it's loading up, it's coming, and there we are, we're back to where I was before. And just checking, just checking, just scrolling and seeing what's there. Guys, you can you you can have such a field day and making so much money just doing this. Um, if it's something that you want to do full time, part time, whatever it is that you want to do. But it, this business has even gotten into a better stage because it's everything is online. And um, what I used to do is I used to go from uh, one storage facility to another to try to figure out what they had, what was available. You don't have to do that anymore. Um, you can just stay online in the comfort of your own home in your pajamas and bid and make money. My friends, stay inspired. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Subscribe. Don't forget to pick up that book. Use the fault. Big profit. Big, big profits. And this is what people do. They default on their items. Look at this big tool chest right here. Incredible. $360. This one's got an hour left. This one is in Ohio. I've gone as far as Ohio to pick up my stuff too. Great, 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 great finds. Look at another one right here too at this budget storage place. This probably is a unit that belongs to this unit too. There are probably two units and it's incredible. That, that, that price right there is incredible. But way too far away from me. Ohio, eh, it's a six hour drive. Do I want to do it? No, I definitely don't want to do that. Um, I can make money closer to me now. During COVID, when there were very limited amount of units being auctioned off, I used to drive as far as upstate New York. I used to drive as far as Ohio to get stuff. Now it's a little bit different. I want to be um, efficient with my time, and I want to make sure that I manage my time um, efficiently, and that also 
makes me money and makes my um, profit margin even better. My friends, Storage King. Like I said, don't forget to pick up that book, lulu.com. I also have another book that I've, um, I, I have written. It's called No Name, just 216513. You guys go pick it up, but it's Lulu too. You guys will learn a little bit more about me um, when you pick that book up. Storage King.